Well, by now we know that there are multiple types of COVID tests from PCR to antigen, and the process starts the same with a swab up your nose. But from there, the test either stays in house or takes a flight to another state. Labs across the valley continue to face the overwhelming demand of COVID-19 tests. We went from about 40 to 70 people to now we're doing about 200 plus, two to 300 people a day. And at Pharmatech Labs, operations manager Angela Spears says that adds up to thousands of tests a month that they have to physically process. So we set out to find out what that process looks like. So we offer the RT-PCR test. Uh, those results can come back within 24 to 30 hours. We also offer the rapid antigen tests and those tests take about 15 to 30 minutes to get your results. First, the RT-PCR, which is taken from both nostrils. After we've collected the PCR samples, everything is then shipped um, in a bio bag and it is then airlifted to San Diego. That's where scientists spend hours using machines like this one, putting the test through multiple cycles to detect the virus's genetic material. They have to run in and go through a series of tests to make sure that we're pushing out you know, positive positives and negative true negatives. And I should have my results within the next 24 to 30 hours. This test is also the one you need if you're going to travel. Then it was time for a rapid antigen test. Our rapid antigen tests are administered in-house. After a test in just one nostril, Spears takes the swab and mixes it with the solution. Squeeze it. And puts three drops of it on a testing cartridge. And then it'll give me a result within 10 minutes. So the rapid antigen, we still send those results to your email. However, you do also have the option to get the hard copy. So if you want to wait an additional 10 minutes in the lobby, you have that option as well. And here we are just 20 minutes later with my results from my rapid test and I'm COVID free. And as of right now, Pharmatech isn't seeing any consistent increases in wait times for testing results to come back. But for some of the tests that are sent to San Diego, you may be waiting an additional six hours to get your results back through email. Reporting live, Sophia Paraconi, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.